Questions Aircraft Landing Gear System 20 Questions What is the purpose of main landing gear torque links? To keep the wheel in alignment and prevent the piston from coming out of the cylinder. What is used to inflate landing gear shock strut? Dry air or nitrogen? What power sources are normally used to retract landing gear systems? Hydraulic or electrical motors? What prevents a nose landing gear from being retracted with the nose wheel out of the center position? Nose wheel centering cams or external track? When should a landing gear retraction check be accomplished? Annual inspection, replacements, hard landings or other programmed inspections? What methods are used for transmitting cockpit control movements to a steering control unit in large aircraft? Mechanical, electrical or hydraulic? What type of nose wheel steering is provided on small aircraft? A simple system of mechanical linkage hooked to the rudder pedals. What unit prevents nose wheel vibration? A shimmy damper. What prevents a split wheel from leaking air through the inner and outer mating surfaces or the wheel assembly? An o-ring between the halves. What is the indication of excessive heating of a wheel bearing? Discoloration. What is the purpose of a wheel fusible plug? Relieve air pressure to prevent tire blowout. What are some types of brake actuating systems? Independent master cylinders, boosted brakes and power control brakes. What is the purpose of power brake to booster? Reduces hydraulic system high pressure to a lower value for more satisfactory brake action. What is the purpose of an anti-skid system? It prevents the wheels to skid or lock during brakes attempts. What are some methods of bleeding brakes? Gravity and pressure methods. What must be accomplished before inspecting a wheel brake system for hydraulic leaks? Pressurize the system. What is the most necessary maintenance function for safe and long aircraft tire service? Proper inflation. What are the effects of underinflation on tires? Uneven wear near the edge of tread and creep or slip when the brakes are applied. What conditions should a mechanic look for during a regular inspection of the exposed piston section of a landing gear? Cleanliness, damages and proper extension. What safety precaution must be taken when removing a wheel from an axle or when disassembling a wheel? Verify if the tire is completely deflated. ANP Oral Questions Hydraulic and Pneumatic Power Systems 20 Questions What are three types of hydraulic fluids? Vegetal, mineral and phosphate esters. Which color mineral base and phosphate ester hydraulic fluids have? Mineral is red, phosphate ester is light purple. What happens to plastic resins, vinyl compositions, lacquers and oil-based paints if exposed to a phosphate ester-based hydraulic fluid such as Skydrol? The materials will be damaged and or softened or the paint will peel. What precautions should be taken to minimize contamination during replacement of a hydraulic unit? All lines should be plugged or capped after disconnecting. What would cause a hydraulic filter to go into open bypass allowing unfiltered fluid into the system? A clogged filter. What is used in some hydraulic systems to supplement the power pump when several units are operated at the same time? An accumulator. What feature is built into a hydraulic pump drive system to prevent engine damage in the event of pump seizure or overload? A shear section in the pump drive shaft will break, disconnecting the pump from the gearbox. What are two types of engine-driven hydraulic pumps? Constant delivery and variable delivery. 
How does a gear type power pump operate? Two meshed gears are driven by a power unit rotate in a housing. Fluid is carried around the outside of the gears and delivered to the outlet side as the gears rotate. Name several sources used to develop hydraulic pressure. Hand pumps, engine driven pumps and electrically driven pumps. What is the purpose of a pressure relief valve? To limit the amount of pressure delivered to the system, preventing components failure. What is the purpose of a pressure regulator? To manage the output of the pump to maintain system pressure and allow the pump to turn without resistance. What are the different types of accumulators? Piston, diaphragm and bladder. What must be accomplished with any accumulator prior to disassembling? Make sure that the air or preload has been discharged. For what purposes are pneumatic systems used in some aircrafts? To operate brakes, doors, drive pumps and engine starting. What are sources of pneumatic power? Storage bottles, vein type pumps and turbine engine compressor. What happens to excessive pressure in a pneumatic system? A relief valve will bleed it to the atmosphere. What is the purpose of restrictors that are used in aircraft pneumatic systems? To control the rate of flow. Why should a pneumatic system be purged periodically? To remove contamination and moisture. What types of components or systems are pneumatically operated in some aircraft? Landing gear, brakes, flaps and other mechanic actuators. ANP Oral Questions Cabin Atmosphere Control Systems 22 Questions How does a continuous flow oxygen system operate? Oxygen flows from a cylinder through a high pressure line to a reducing valve and to mask outlets. How does a basic pressure demand oxygen system operate? Oxygen flow from the cylinder to the pressure demand regulator and then to the mask only when the user inhales. What type of oxygen must be used in aircraft? Aviators breathing oxygen. What must be accomplished if an oxygen system has been open to atmosphere for two hours or more? It must be purged to remove the moisture. What is used to purge oxygen lines of moisture? Dry air, dry nitrogen or oxygen. What safety precautions should be observed when servicing oxygen systems? Keep hands, tools and clothing very clean. Service system outdoors if possible and keep caps on bottles to protect valves. Avoid all contact with petroleum-based oil or grease. No smoking or open flames within 50 feet. What are the two groups of independent cabin compressors? Positive displacement and centrifugal. What is a roots blower? An engine-driven compressor. What method is used by some turbine-powered aircraft for pressurization? Engine bleed air. What pressurization control unit will regulate the position of an outflow valve? The cabin pressure controller. What is the principal control of a pressurization system? An outflow valve. What components are used in an air cycle cooling system? Compressor, heat exchangers, expansion turbine and valves. Describe the basic operating principles that allow an air cycle system to produce cool air. Hot engine bleed air is cooled in the primary heat exchanger, compressed, then cooled again in the second heat exchanger. This air is expanded across the expansion turbine, where its energy is extracted and pressure reduced. This creates a drop in temperature. What causes a temperature drop in an air cycle cooling system? The compressed air is cooled when travels through the expansion turbine which extracts heat from the air as it expands. How does a water separator remove moisture from the air? 
The moist air passes through veins that swirl the air and the droplets are collected and drained. What is a vapor cycle cooling? A closed system in which a refrigerant freon is circulated through tubing and variety of components to remove heat from the air to be delivered to the cabin. In what significant way is a vapor cycle cooling system different from an air cycle system? Vapor cycle uses freon. What components are in a vapor cycle cooling? Compressor, condenser, receiver, dryer, expansion valve and evaporator. Why is oil added to a vapor cycle freon system? To seal and lubricate the compressor. What is the function of ventilating air in a combustion heater? It transports the heated air from the heater into the cabin and prevents combustion gases from entering the cabin if the combustion chamber develops a crack. Name several methods used on reciprocating engine aircraft for providing heated cabin air. Combustion heaters, exhaust shroud heat exchangers and electric heaters. What are sources of ventilating air in a combustion heater? Ram air in flight, a blower on the ground, or possibly a compressor if the airplane is pressurized. ANP Oral Questions Aircraft Instrument Systems 21 Questions What can be used to static check a manifold pressure indicator gauge? Current atmospheric pressure what flight instruments are usually connected to a pitot static system? Altimeter, rate of climb, airspeed and mog meter. Why should you avoid cleaning obstructions from the sensing holes in a pitot static system? The holes are aerodynamically critical. What causes an electric driven gyro rotor to tilt when the aircraft turned? Gyroscopic precession. What indication errors may be found in altimeters? Scale errors, hysteresis, friction and installation. What aircraft instrument can be used to check manifold pressure gauge for proper indication? The sensitive altimeter. What is a synchrotype remote indicating system? A system that transmits information from one point to another point like flat position. What does a tachometer indicate? Rotation, like crankshaft RPM or engine speed in percent of RPM. From where does an electrical resistance temperature indicator receive a signal? From a temperature bulb or sensitive element. What type of indicating system is a turbine engine exhaust gas temperature system? A thermocouple type system. What methods are used to drive turn and bank slip indicators? Vacuum air pressure electricity. Who is authorized to apply the range markings to an instrument dial face? The manufacturer or certificated instrument repair station. What does a yellow arc on an instrument dial indicate? Caution. Why are slippage marks used on instruments glass covers? To indicate glass rotation in the bezel. What references should be consulted to determine the proper range markings for aircraft instruments? The Aircraft Maintenance Manual, Aircraft Flight Manual, TCDS, or Aircraft Specifications. When range markings are placed on an instrument glass, what precaution must be taken? The glass must be marked for slippage indication. What is required after replacement of components connected to a pitot static system? A leak test. What is the meaning of swinging a compass? To adjust the compensating magnets to correct for magnetic deviations caused by the aircraft. Name at least two items that should be looked for during an inspection of a magnetic compass. Security of attachment, the fluid must be clear, the compass should be properly calibrated, the housing must be full with no bubbles, the card must be legible, the lubber line must be intact and moving parts should work easily. 
in what way do magnetic fields generated by electrical equipment and steel parts in the airplane affect a magnetic compass? Aircraft magnetic fields deflect the compass from correct alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. What quantity is accurately measured by a capacitance type fuel quantity indicating system? The mass of the fuel. ANP Oral Questions Communication and Navigation Systems 21 Questions What are the basic autopilot components? Gyros, flight controllers, computers, amplifiers, and servos. What are the sensing elements of an autopilot system? Attitude, directional and turning gyros, and an altitude sensor. What are the actuating elements of an autopilot system? Servos that operate the control surfaces. What is the function of the servos in an autopilot system? The servos actuate the flight controls. What are the basic components of a radio communication system? Transmitting and receiving antennas, transmitter, receiver, frequency selector, microphone and speaker or headphones. What is the most common communication system in use? VHF, band 118.0 to 136.975 MHz. What is the purpose of a bonding jumper from a radio shock mount to the airframe? To provide low impedance ground return. Why are two antennas or single multi-element antenna usually required for an ILS system? One for the localizer and the other for the glide slope receivers. What is VOR equipment used for? Navigation. What are the components of a typical VOR system? Antennas, receiver, frequency selector, visual indicator and power supply. What is an ADF? Automatic direction finding. What information does a glide slope radio beam provide? Vertical guidance for correct descent angle. What is a DME? Distance measuring equipment. Where should DME antennas be located? Generally on the bottom of the aircraft fuselage in a location that isn't blocked by the wing. What powers an emergency locator transmitter? An internal battery. What is one method used to monitor the output signal during an L test? Tune a VHF receiver to 121.5. What time of day should you perform the maintenance tests of an installed ELD? During the first five minutes after the hour for no more than three sweeps. How may the determination be made to replace or recharge the batteries in an ELD even though the set operates? The expiration date for replacing and or recharging is marked on the outside of the transmitter and registered in the aircraft maintenance record. How often does the ATC transponder require certification? Every 24 calendar months. Describe the shape and location of a transponder antenna. Either a short blade or a short wire with a ball end located on the bottom of the fuselage. Describe the procedure used to route coaxial cable from an antenna to a receiver. The cable should be routed separately from other wires directly as possible, supported every two feet and bends should be ten times the cable diameter. ANP Oral Questions Aircraft Fuel Systems 20 Questions What is the purpose of a fuel jettisoning system? To reduce the weight of the aircraft to a specified landing weight. When would a fuel jettison system be required for small aircraft? When the maximum takeoff weight exceeds the maximum landing weight. For what reason is a fuel jettison system usually divided into two separate independent systems, one for each wing? To help maintain lateral stability, jettisoning fuel from a heavy wing, if necessary. Why do multi-engine airplanes have fuel crossfeed systems? 
to allow any engine to be fed by any tank. The fuel selector valve for a multi-engine aircraft must have at least three positions. What are they? On, off and cross feed. Why are electronic fuel quantity indicating systems more accurate than other types? They measure the mass of the fuel instead of the volume. Why should you wait a period of time after fueling before checking fuel sums? To allow time for water and sediment to settle to the drain point. What are some other names for a single point fueling system? Pressure fueling system or underwing. Name some advantages of a single point fueling system. It reduces fueling time, chances for contamination or fire, and eliminates damage to the aircraft skin. What are two types of fuel tank cells? A bladder type and integral fuel tank. What supports the weight of fuel in a bladder type fuel cell? The structure of the cavity that the cell fits into. What is wet wing type construction? Integral fuel tanks. What is the purpose of a fuel tank internal baffles? To resist fuel surging caused by changes in the attitude of the aircraft. What are four types of fuel quantity gauges in use today? Sight glass, mechanical, electrical and electronic. What are drip gauges and sight gauges? Underwing, bayonet type fuel gauges. What is an electrical operated fuel tank shutoff valve in transit light? A light that indicates when the valve is in motion. What should be done with old gaskets and seals when replacing fuel system components? Replace by new ones. What method may be used to check a fuel tank for leaks after weld has been performed? The tank is pressurized with 0.5 to 3 psi air pressure and a soapy solution is added to detect any leaks. What indications could be used to determine when there may be danger of ice crystals forming in the fuel of a turbine-powered aircraft? Fuel temperature or differential pressure type indicators. Is it possible for a fuel system to develop a leak that has no visible evidence such as a stain or spot and if so, how? Yes, an internal component such as a valve could develop a leak. a &P Oral Questions Aircraft Electrical Systems 25 Questions What controls the output voltage of an alternator? The GCU How is the output voltage of an alternator controlled? By varying the field current that excites the alternator. When do DC motors draw several times their rated current? When starting. What could cause an AC electric motor to run too fast? Excessive applied voltage or shorted field windings. What could cause an AC electric motor to run too slowly? Low voltage, defective wiring or lack of lubrication. What tool is used to check a motor or generator armature for shorts and opens under load conditions? A growler. When using a growler, what indication will occur when a short exists between an armature segment? When a metal blade is held over the armature and a short exists in a segment, the blade will begin to vibrate and chatter. What tool would you use to determine the size of an unmarked wire? A wire gauge. What factors are considered when selecting wire size for electrical power? System voltage, permissible voltage drop, current carrying if the load is continuous or intermittent and wire length. How can a particular wire in a bundle be identified? By the identification code on the wire. How long should bonding jumper wires be? As short as possible but long enough to allow free movement of the component. Wood hardware is used to make bonding or grounding connections to a structure of dissimilar material. A washer of suitable material should be used so that corrosion will occur on the washer. 
How many terminal lugs can be put on a single terminal strip stud in an aircraft? 4. What size electrical conduit should be used? 25% larger than the maximum diameter of the wire bundle. What should be done to a conduit when fittings are not used? It should be deburred to prevent insulation damage. At what point in a circuit should the protective device be located? As close the source as possible. When is a circuit breaker designed to open? When there is an overload or circuit fault in the system or before the wire emits smoke. What type of circuit breakers should not be used in aircraft? Automatic reset type circuit breakers. Under what conditions must a switch be derated from its nominal rating? When used with DC motors, inductive circuits or circuits with high and rush current. What color is a left and right wing dip position light? Left is red and right is green. Where is the wide position navigation light mounted? On the tail, visible from the rear. What instruments are used to monitor electrical system loads? Emitters and voltmeters. What would be necessary to analyze an electrical system before increasing the load on the system? To determine if either the generator, protective device and wire size capacity will not be exceeded. Name several types of electrical devices that would be considered intermittent loads on an electrical system. Landing gear, cowl and wing flap motors and radio transmitters. Prior to making a continuity check, what must be done to an electrical circuit? The power must be turned off. ANP Oral Questions Position and Warning System 22 Questions What is the reason for a Master Caution Warning System in aircraft? To draw attention of the crew to a critical situation and an enunciator that describes the problem. Name at least two items that may cause a takeoff warning horn to operate in a typical transport jet aircraft. Incorrect wing flap position, stabilizer position, or speed brake not stowed. What is the purpose of the annunciator system? To show with a warning light that some system parameter requires attention from the flight crew. By what usual means does the stall warning system in a small aircraft alert the pilot of an impending stall? An audible alert and or a warning light. What is the usual means for alerting the crew of a jet transport that the cabin doors are not properly closed? A warning light. Why do airplanes with bleed air anti-icing of the wing leading edge have an anti-ice overheat light? To indicate an over-temperature condition, usually from a break in the bleed air ducts. What is the purpose of a mock warning system in aircraft? To alert the pilot that the aircraft speed limit has been reached or exceeded. How does a takeoff oral warning differ from a landing gear oral warning? Takeoff is an intermittent horn and landing gear is a steady horn. What types of landing gear warnings are provided for retractable landing system? Oral horn and red warning light. When is time to check landing gear switches, lights and warning horns or buzzers for proper operation? During a landing gear retraction check. Where are the procedures located for checking and adjusting landing gear switches? Aircraft manufacturer's manual. When does an oral device operate in a landing gear warning system? When the throttle is retarded and the landing gear is not down and locked. What retractable landing gear positions must be indicated by regulations? Down and locked, up and locked. What other aircraft system may activate the landing gear warning system? The wing flap system. If an aircraft with retractable landing gear has only one green light to indicate the gear is down and locked, how will the switches be connected in series or in parallel? In series. 
how can a pilot determine that the landing gear is down and locked? A green light or lights and or another type of visual indicator. What systems are commonly used to activate the landing gear warning systems? The throttles and wing flaps. What is the source of the anti-skid warning system signal? The anti-skid control unit. How is a pilot alerted that an anti-skid system has automatically returned to a manual brake system? By a warning light. What is the significance of an anti-skid warning? The system is off or has failed. What system is used to indicate battery over temperature? A warning light. What warning system may be required when a nickel cadmium battery is installed in an aircraft? A battery temperature monitoring system. ANP oral questions ice and rain control systems 21 questions. What methods are used to supply heat for thermal anti-icing systems? Turbine engine compressor bleed air engine exhaust heat exchangers and heated air from combustion heater. How is the temperature maintained in a thermal anti-icing system? By mixing heated air with ambient air. What prevents overheating of the leading edges of a thermal anti-ice system operated by engine bleed air? Overheat sensors close anti-icing valves and shut off the hot air. What happens to the thermal anti-icing airflow after it has heated a leading edge surface? Exhausted to the atmosphere. Why is it necessary to provide overheat protection for anti-icing systems that use turbine engine bleed air? The air is too hot and can damage the aircraft structure. How can an electrically heated pitot tube with an emitter installed in the system be checked for operation? Watching the current consumption when the heater is turned on. What are two methods of inflating pneumatic deicer boots? Bleed air from a turbine engine compressor or engine driven vacuum pump. What normally keeps deicer boots held down in flight? Suction is supplied to the boots during flight. What is the function of the oil separator used in some deicer boot systems? Remove oil before it reaches the boots, damaging the rubber. How are deicer boots attached to the leading edges of wing and tail surfaces? Bonding, fairing strips and screws, or a combination of both. What must be accomplished to a deicer boot prior to a cold patch repair? Relieve the install tension. What is the purpose of the electronic timer in a pneumatic deicer boot system? It controls the operating sequence and time intervals. What important steps should be taken prior to making a cold patch repair to a deicer boot? Consult the manufacturer's service manual. Why is a windshield rain replant system not operated when the windshield is dry? Reduces visibility and it's hard to remove when dry. Name at least two methods used to remove rain from a windshield. Wipers, pneumatic blast, chemical rain repellent, hydrophobic seal coating. What powers windshield wiper systems? Electrical or hydraulic power. What are the two inherent problems associated with windshield wipers when operated in flight? Aerodynamic forces reduce blade pressure and failure to oscillate fast enough. Describe several potential problems associated with electrically heated windshields. Arcing, scratches, delamination and discolorations. Where would you find information on the acceptable limits of windshield delamination? In the reference material provided by the manufacturer. What are the effects of arcing on an electrically heated windshield? Localized overheating and serious damage to the windshield. How does a pneumatic rain removal system work? A high-velocity air blast prevents the rain from reaching the windshield. 
ANP Oral Questions Fire Protection Systems 23 Questions What indications may be caused by kings and sharp bends in sensing elements of a fire detection system? False fire warnings caused by a short. Describe a continuous loop detection system. One or more wires embedded in a special ceramic core that changes its resistance with a change in temperature. Name the two basic types of fire extinguishing systems. The conventional systems and the high rate discharge system. What does a thermal switch fire detection system consist of? Heat sensitive units that complete electrical circuit at certain temperatures and trigger a warning. How are thermal switch units wired? Parallel with each other and in series with the light. How is a thermocouple fire warning system different from a thermal switch system? Thermal works at a specific temperature. Thermocouple depends on a rate of temperature rise. How are Fenwell sensing elements wired? In series to a control unit. How are the detector units in a double loop Fenwell system wired? In parallel between two complete loops of wiring. Briefly describe the components of a kid continuous loop fire detection system. An inconal tube with two wires, one positive and the other ground, embedded in a ceramic core that changes its resistance when heated and allow the current to flow and activate the alarm. Briefly describe the components and operation of a Lindbergh fire detection system. A stainless steel tube contains an inert gas and a discrete material that absorbs some of the gas. When the tube heats up, some gas is released, raising the pressure in the tube, which activate a pressure switch. How does a light refraction type smoke detector warn of possible fire? Smoke particles refract light in the unit, causing the photoelectric cell to produce electricity and triggers an alarm signal. How may a photoelectric smoke detector be checked? Actuating a test switch. Name two types of smoke detection systems used in aircraft. Light refraction and ionization. What are two types of installed fire extinguishing systems? CO2 and halogenated hydrocarbons. What type extinguishing agent is usually found in a high rate of discharge system? Halogenated hydrocarbon. What procedure is used to check a fire extinguisher container for pressure? A chart must be used for determining minimum and maximum gauge reading based on ambient temperature. Name the extinguishing agent most commonly used by conventional fire extinguishing system. CO2 What is the purpose of the yellow disc in a fire extinguisher system? Indicate the normal discharge of the system. What protection is provided for a fire extinguisher bottle in case of a temperature rise in excess of set limits? A thermal fuse will release the pressure overboard, ejecting a red indicator disc. How is the service life of a discharge cartridge calculated? From the manufacturer's date stamp on the face of the cartridge. Describe the mechanism by which a Freon bottle is discharged. An electrical signal fires an explosive squib which ruptures a frangible disc. Where are carbon monoxide detectors normally used? In aircraft cabins and cockpits. What are indications of excess carbon monoxide fumes when using CO testes? Indicator crystals in a CO detector will change color from a normally bright color to a dark color. At lethal levels of CO they will turn black.